For the first time in more than 30 years, the United States Air Force is launching a new stealth bomber. The next-generation stealth long-range strategic bomber is designed to replace the aging B-1 Lancer and B-2 Spirit aircraft and form the backbone of the U.S. Air Force's bomber fleet. Remarkably for a large weapons program, the B-21 arrived on time and was reportedly within the $25.1 billion budget the U.S. Air Force allocated in 2010. Northrop Grumman, which has developed the bomber, appears to have learned from the lessons that befell previous high-profile programs such as the F-35 and B-2 bombers. The 34-year-old B-2 Spirit is a generation ahead of its time. The advanced materials covering the aircraft, combined with the shape of the fuselage and engine intakes, meant that its radar signature was extremely small, rendering it nearly invisible to radar. This allows the aircraft to carry out long-range strike missions in heavily defended areas with a good chance of surviving the mission, something that other bombers, such as the venerable B-1 and B-52, will have little chance of succeeding. Undetected, the B-2 can already engage high-value targets deep in enemy territory with little or no warning. The program has been highly classified and Northrop Grumman has released few details about the project but some information has trickled out in published reports. The B-21 Raider clearly draws a lot of its designs from its predecessor, such as the flying wing concept with its engines embedded and configured to efficiently reduce its radar signature. The airframe is slightly smaller than the B-2. Its payload, the amount of ordnance, bombs and missiles it can carry is almost halved. It is not particularly fast designed to fly at high subsonic speeds and it is not the quantum leap the B-2 stealth bomber was when it was first introduced in 1988. It is, however, significantly cheaper, both to buy and maintain. The B-2 was horrendously expensive to keep airworthy, and the B-21 will greatly lower the toll in money and man-hours needed in its upkeep.